Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chasney has made it categorically clear that the state of emergency extension to October 16, 2021 will not hinder the nation's general election. During a sitting of Parliament on May 4, 2021, the House of Assembly approved a five-month extension beginning 17th May, running into the final quarter of the year. With elections constitutionally due by October, the Prime Minister maintained that the state of emergency does not impede processes for this national exercise. He says, however, that he looks forward to the national exercise being conducted safely with respect to the COVID-19 pandemic. How is the state of the emergency going to stop the election from taking place, Mr. Speaker? Since when a state of emergency affects it? When in St. Kitts they had a state of emergency, did it affect them in having an election? When Jamaica had a state of emergency, did it affect them having an election? When Trinidad and Tobago had elections with a state of emergency, did it affect them having an election, Mr. Speaker? The answer is no. Categorically. Okay, Mr. Speaker, it does not impede the ability to have an election. One of the critical decisions that, that has been, and I have been saying it repeatedly, to bring some relief to the members on the opposite side, that is going to guide the decision as to when we're going to have elections, is certainly, Mr. Speaker, when we believe that we can have the elections in the safest way possible. But, I've said repeatedly, we are not in any way going to go contrary to the Constitution of St. Lucia. According to the Constitution of St. Lucia, the state of emergency may be revoked during the five-month period at the discretion of the Governor-General that could allow for a general election. The government intends to come to an agreement with the opposition on COVID-19 protocols for the impending national exercise. It's certainly my government's intention to make sure that we will work with the members on the opposite side, with arbitrary independent people, to make sure that we can have a very clear idea that once we are going to have elections, what the protocols would be, and that hopefully both sides will fulfill their obligation and commitment to adhering to them. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Shastney is speaking during a sitting of the House of Assembly on Tuesday, May 4, 2021.